the butter of my biscuits and call me a biscuit. Oh, oh. Welcome, y'all, to Bell's Briefing, an AI-generated news bite. I'm Glenda Pearl McMahon, the archivist, standing in for our dear Bell. It's June 11th, 2025 at 7, 8 p.m. here on the East Coast. The heat outside is as relentless as my husband Sylvester when he gets his hands on a new barbecue recipe. Today's news is hotter than a jalapeno's armpit. And we're talking about some groundbreaking science news from the European Space Agency and NASA. Bless their hearts, they've gone and done it again. For the first time ever, we've got images of the sun's south pole. This all thanks to their solar orbiter spacecraft. Now, imagine this, you're floating out there in space just minding your own business when BAM! you get a front row seat to the sun's southern hemisphere. It's like getting an invite to Dolly Parton's backyard barbecue exclusive and spectacular. The source of this exciting news is none other than our friends over at Science Daily who published this article on June 10th. Now, ain't that something? This here, Solar Orbiter spacecraft launched back in February 2020, has been snapping pictures like my son Rory at his science fair. And let me tell you, these images are clearer than Boone's eyes when he spots a squirrel. So what does this mean for us? Well, sugar, it means we're one step closer to understanding our universe better. Just like how I'm trying to understand why Sylvester thinks it's okay to use my good towels in his garage, before I sign off and go wrangle that man of mine away from his latest project involving remote control cars and too much duct tape, I want to remind y'all about Bell Chat, the chatbot that's as helpful as a pocket on a shirt. And don't forget to tune in to the Bell and the Deacon Chat podcast with Bell Maybelline Santiago and Deacon Isaiah Hart for more news, advice, and good old Southern charm. Now, y'all remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. This is Glenda Pearl McMahon saying keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. Y'all take care now.